Uh, Nick, you've pre-season's finally done and round one's here. How excited are you about that? Yeah, I'm stoked, you know, just to be in a team. Uh, playing 5-8 this week, I'm really excited. Uh, new challenge for me, haven't really played there in um, the NRL competition before, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, tell us a little about your experience at 5-8, been quite a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, I used to play back there in high school and those sort of days, but uh, over my career I've played um, centre and wing, so I'm sort of used to defending in the line, uh, know when to sort of jam or to hold back and rely on my teammates, so... Um, <clears throat> I think it's more the attack um, systems that I'm sort of getting used to um, here at the Storms and how they run things differently and um, building combinations with the people around me. But yeah, I'm excited and I've been training there for the last couple of weeks, so ready to go. So we knew Cameron Munster wasn't going to play round one. Did you think, gee, I might be a chance of playing 5 8, or when did it first enter your mind that number six might be your go? Yeah, not really, not until sort of Coops, I guess, sort of hurt his shoulder and was in doubt. Um, I know Paps was in doubt as well for that fullback position, um, so I was sort of focusing more on that. Uh, but once he sort of came back and his um, ankle and foot started to improve, um, and Coops was out, I sort of thought, oh, here we go, might have to chuck on the six jersey. So um, been working, you know, uh, we had Cooper, John, uh, Cooper Cronk in here the other day, uh, helping me with a few things, um, and even Billy Slater, um, just giving me a few pointers here and there, uh, really helps me um, sort of understand what the 5-8 role is all about. Um, so, yeah. Now we saw your goal kicking in the trials, but our goal kicker from last year, Paps, is back. Who's going to be goal kicking this week? Do we know yet? Uh, I think I might be, depending on how his um, foot is. Uh, I know he can run and, and jump and all those things, but I'm not sure whether he's going to be kicking yet. So, um, yeah, wait and see. I'll keep practising during the, during the week and see how we go. And tell us about your kicking. Is that something you've, uh, you've had through your career? Yeah, I mean, when I was at the Bulldogs, we had um, Darrell Halligan. I was working with him quite a lot. Um, on how to goal kick and all the ins and outs of that. So, um, you know, there's been times where there's other, other goal kickers in front of you, but sort of it's a good skill to keep you know, in the back pocket and keep practicing. So I've just kind of done that under the radar a little bit the last couple of years. And I mean, in the trials went all right. So hopefully carry that out through the year. Now that storm left edge was really dangerous last year. You got some good players out on that side. Who are you looking forward to teaming up the most? Yeah, I think Ken, Kenny Bromwich um, and he, I mean the whole edge, Zave out there on the wing, he's a real target for us. Um, but yeah, Kenny, Kenny Bromwich, he just talks so well, and especially for me, new to the new to the club and new to that left edge, um, he's just really helped me understand and sort of just calm it down a little bit. You know, sometimes you can get a bit frantic out there, but it, you know his talk really calms you down and um, focuses in, and you can get your job done a lot easier. Just taking it back to pre-season now that it's over, is there one moment that sticks in your mind that, gee, I'm here in Melbourne? Um, well, everyone always talks about the wrestle sessions with JD. Um, I think out of his gym there, there's a couple of days where, you know, you're in the you're in the washing machine, the, the head's a bit um, foggy and you don't really know where you're at. But, um, no, I think they're really good and they help, help with what we're trying to do for the rest of the year. Um, but, yeah, those wrestle sessions are pretty tough. And just on the West Tigers, a team that's also got a few new players playing from this week and, and a new number six as well yeah. in Jackson Hastings. Yeah, I mean, they've got a fair new, um, fair new few players in their team. Um, so I guess they're probably still adapting to each other and building combinations as well. But uh, I guess we sort of just focus on what we have to do, you know, um, executing and hold the ball and um, the result should take care of itself.